Hey, what's up guys? My name is Eternal. Welcome to episode 53 of Game Programming. So, last time we took a look at this load level method in the spawn level class and um, today we're going, to we're going to take a look at converting level pixels into tiles. So yeah. So generate level, we made that method last time and uh, what that's going to do, right, is as you can see it actually doesn't actually do anything in the level class so that means that it's currently empty completely. It's not going to do anything at all. What it needs to do, right, is basically generate a list of tiles for us. So I've made it void here, and the reason I made it void is because we just want to fill that array with tiles. We could have, again, a lot of people are probably wondering, I don't actually know if a lot of people are actually wondering this because I haven't you know, read the comments from yesterday's video yet, but anyway, um, the point is I could have done something like this, um, or I could have even done something like this, right? Um, but the reason I want to void is because well, it's going to be way faster, first of all. The second thing is, I just want to keep this um, tile array intact. So, yeah, it wouldn't have been a bad idea to do that, but whatever. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So, first of all, uh, back in load level, one thing that I didn't actually do was set the size of these tiles. The size of these tiles, since the one pixel equals one tile, there will be as many tiles as there are pixels. And over here, we have both the width and height which is awesome. So what we can do here is just simply set tiles equals to new t equal to new tile and then width times height, right? Because that'll be the amount of tiles that we need. There you go. That's how it's going to work. Um, and in generate level, this is where it's where the stuff heats up here. Um, we need to decide which pixel we want to be which tile. So what color we want to be which tile. So I'm just going to open paint.net quickly. Just an empty paint.net document just to show you guys what I mean. So let's zoom in all the way so that this is big enough. Awesome. So we could, for example, black could be, let's just make black be like a wall, right? And then let's make blue, let's just say, I don't know what shade of blue. Let's just make full blue be, um, I don't know. Well, we've got grass first of all. We'll make black be like a wall or something. But um, we've got we've got this green, right? We'll make green. We'll make full green. Um, be let's just say we'll make green be grass. We'll make full yellow be flower. And then we'll make um sort of like a half yellow, which is seven f seven f zero zero be a rock okay literally just just for fun right now so grass flower rock awesome so over here in generate level now that we've got we've got that information i'm going to add a comment a lot of you guys always ask why i don't add why i don't add comments and i'm going to answer that question right now i don't add comments because this code is damn simple there is nothing here worth commenting the code that we've currently typed in this series so far like I could probably do it in an hour or so by myself without like any, you know, without like confusing anything. Cause this stuff is really easy code. When we get into like harder, more complex things, which require like an algorithm of operations or like a huge mathematical calculation that, you know, could be subject to error, I'll add comments there. But here, this stuff is too easy to add comments for. It's too simple. Um, there's no point. Like I wouldn't know what comments to add cause I, you know, it's, it's written literally in English, load level, you know, generate level. The only thing I want to do here is add stuff like color codes because I can't remember. I, I do, I can remember them, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so first of all, we decided the grass would be, just so I, just so I remember. So grass is going to be um, green, right? And green is, what is green? Green is, green would be that. Um, and we don't really need that, but well, yeah, we'll put that there because that's how Java handles hexadecimals, but that is obviously the actual color. Um, let's see, we made flower be yellow, which would be green and, green and red? Yeah, it would be green and red, wouldn't it? I'm just going to say it's green and red. Uh, I don't actually know. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, and rock was like a medium, um, red, medium, um, like a dark yellow. So those are the colors. Right, awesome. So we haven't actually made the map yet. We'll, we'll do that next episode. But um, today we're gonna generate a level. So judging by this, I can say that if um, a particular 
a particular pixel here in level pixels is equal to a color, then let's fill that appropriate index of the tile array with a grass tile. Simple as that. So basically what I'm saying is, first, first thing we really need to do is make a for uh, loop that actually cycles through every single thing. So for int y equals, well, no, we don't need to do it that way. That'll be slower. For int i equals zero, i is less than tiles dot, be better doing it this way, level pixels dot length. Obviously they both should be the same size, but I mean it's probably result in less crashes if we do level pixels instead of tiles. Since we're setting tiles, not reading, and level pixels will definitely be an appropriate size here. Um, Yep. Okay. Um, so let's um, let's put that if method inside here, and all we'll do is, is we'll say if tiles i, sorry, if level pixels i is equal to a particular color, so zero x ff zero zero for example, and we'll actually probably need to use that. I'm not actually sure. We'll see. Just because we'll need an alpha channel. Um, we'll leave it as that for now and we'll, we'll actually, we'll see. Um, but if level pixels equals that color, then we will um, set tiles i equal to um, a new grass tile. Alright? And. Oh, sorry, not not new grass tile. A tile dot grass because we we made it static so that we don't have tons of instances of the same tile that don't really need to be instances. Um, and likewise, you know, we'll um we'll do the same for all the other colors. So ff and then seven f seven f. Um, and so we create that would be flower and then that would be rock. All right, that's one way of doing it. Um, and that'll basically, that'll work totally. So yeah, um, awesome. So that'll cycle through everything, every single one. Not sure how long that would take. Um, we'll, we'll take a look at performance in the future, but basically what that's going to do is fill up this tile array with a bunch of tile objects based on the colors of these level of this level pixel array, integer array. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is episode 53 of Game Programming. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Let's, let's hit 100 likes again. And um, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll move on with this. So yeah, later guys.